Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a collective Christmas haul for you. I think I'm going to do Dollar General separate because I have a lot of items that I hauled from Dollar General. I uploaded several Dollar General Christmas shop with me. I have to try to put together a playlist just in case you guys missed it. And uh, I revisited a couple of stores since our last collective Christmas haul, and there's some new ones added in. So I have items from Ross, a little bit from Home Goods, a tiny bit from Marshalls, Target, and I went back to Five Below. These are so freaking cute. I got these earrings from Five Below. It's the bow with the dangling candy cane. Super cute. And I'm wearing my Candy Cane Cutie t-shirt that I got from Five Below. This would be great. For those of you who know me, you've heard this a million times. Before I left New York, two years before I left New York, I started a craft, a Christmas craft and sip with my girlfriends. We had a lot of fun. Uh, the first year we made a Candy Cane wreath. And the second year we did uh, the Gingerbread House. Okay. This is snipped off. I got my miter shears from um, Amazon came last night. You're going to need to snip off the sides so they can be flushed together because we're going to be making a gingerbread tree collar. Um, I hope the rain stays off because 90% of my craftmas, I mean 99% of my craftmas uh, crafts need to be painted. I don't have a garage. I don't have a, um, a basement. I don't spray paint in the house. Uh, I spy can't take those um, fumes, but you see the difference? You see how the, the roof overhangs and there's a little overhang on the bottom? I needed the shears to make, because they have to go flush. The houses are going to have to go flush, okay? But that will be another video, so stay tuned. That's coming up this week. But um, I got off track now, y'all. Oh, if I was still hosting my craft parties, I definitely would have bought everybody a t-shirt. I've seen a TikTok video where two sisters or two good friends, I'm saying sisters because they were, they seem like they were, I think they might have been mother and daughter. They were out Christmas shopping in their candy cane cutie t-shirts. So this came from Five Below. I shared this on the last Five Below collective haul, or I shared it with you in the haul. I believe it was the collective Christmas haul. And $5, and they have extended sizes now. They go up to size 2X, guys. So for us thicker girls, that's a good thing, okay? So I went back to Five Below. And like I said, I think Dollar General is going to be a separate video. And I seen someone find, and I could have seen them and just missed them. They had um, earrings with hot cocoa, a cup of hot cocoa. So I have to go back and see if I can find those. Yes, $5. Yes, on Timu. It will be a dollar and change. However, Timu catfishes you with the size. I have bought earrings from Timu. I like big earrings, okay? If you know me, you know I like big earrings. And Timu is somewhat of a catfish. Sometimes they come through. And I know the inches are there, but still, they be, they be a little fugazi. But first, let's start with Ross. And I do have a Ross shot with me, guys. Ross has a lot of beautiful, affordable holiday decor. I just have to edit it and do a voiceover because they blare music and I hate doing voiceovers, guys. I like to do a shot with me where I am telling you my thought as soon as I see a product, not trying to think of something to say as the video is playing. I hate doing voiceovers, so that's why I have been dragging, but I'm just going to go ahead and include Ross because I want to decorate and put these items out, okay? This is so cute and I know I said I don't need any more ceramic. Look at this spoon rest. Look at this spoon rest. How could I leave it behind? This was $3.99. They did have others. I didn't see a gingerbread one, but I don't want... This is a candy cane gingerbread theme, so I want both. I don't want all gingerbread anyway, but look how cute this is. Love it. And I don't need any more. I have bought so many gingerbread mugs, guys. I don't need them. I'm not even putting out my four stack gingerbread house mug that came on the rack from Walmart for $10. I didn't drink from them last year. They are still on the rack. I didn't take them off the rack. I just had them, you know, next to my little hot cocoa area and coffee bar area. And they just look cute. <sighs> why? Why, why, why? But I couldn't leave these behind. These were also $3.99. $3.99 seems to be the price point of all of their mugs. Look at these. 
they're massive. And not only that, if I would have got this from Target or anywhere else, it would have been five and up. Look how cute it is. And guess what? Here's the boy with his bow tie. Here's the girl with her lashes. Is that me? Is that me? So this is me and I spy. I'm going to try to drink from these because normally, guys, I just put these out for display and I don't drink from them. How cute are these? Those ones I got from Dollar Tree with those little gingerbread plates, I, I'm giving those to my sister. Honey done upgraded. So I just think that these are so cute, guys. $3.99. I, could, I couldn't leave them. They jumped in the cart. These are super cute. How festive are these bow napkins? How festive are these napkins? And this is good quality napkins. They're calling these lunch napkins. You're getting 50 lunch napkins. These are $4. So I want to be festive. I wish I could find, and they probably have them, but I don't want, I know I'm not going to pay that price. Um, that's why I wanted to do a decorative paper towel holder. Um, I wonder, I've never seen, I've seen Christmas toilet paper, but I've never seen Christmas paper towels. They might exist, but definitely all season long, I'm going to be switching out my Christmas napkins. And um, I think this was a good deal because Dollar Tree's only giving you what, 20 or even eight. I don't even know if you get 20 or 24, um, 50, I'll take it. And they had other selections. So each Ross, I see something different. I was out of town yesterday and I went in their Ross. I really didn't pay attention to the napkins, but definitely I'm going to be getting a couple more packs because I want to be festive, okay? So you're going to be getting a Christmas napkin. These are cute and gorgeous. This was $7.99, okay? And this will be going in my garland, okay? That goes up my stairs. I will be making a candy cane themed garland. Now, I need two of these for a DIY. This is going to be, I have some great DIYs planned for you guys, okay? I see things in the store. Yes, you can buy them. But this was $29.99 just for one, and I was not, I was not paying that price, okay? I'm a bargain diva, you know that. So, I need two candy canes for this DIY, and I got two of these. I believe I got two. Did I get two? Maybe I didn't get two. But anyway, I just need two candy canes out of this box and the rest I could add into my garland. I also will be making a garland for the top of my TV stand and uh, a garland for my kitchen. I'm just a garland, a garland diva. That was everything from Ross. We are moving on to Target. Okay, Target. So I got two of this nine feet garland. Now I did get one from Walmart and by me, Target and Walmart, well, we have two Walmarts in Greenville, but the Walmart that I could have went to was right behind Target. I kind of like the Target garland better. I did hold the Walmart garland, but I don't know. I just like the look of the Target garland better. This was $5. I remember when this was three and change, and Walmart's garland used to be two and change, and now that's three seventy six. dollars It's still affordable, and this is why I tell you guys, do not, if you want to do a garland for your mantle, for your TV stand, for your staircase, spend a couple of extra bucks and get your garland from um, either Target or Walmart than Dollar Tree. It just looks better in my opinion. It looks more realistic. You will have to fluff it out like you do a tree, but you'll be so happy with the results. So, um, and I made one to go around my outside door, gingerbread, you know, candy cane thing, but I don't think I'm using it. I'm doing something else this year. Uh, you know, I've had a garland, you know, this will be my fourth Christmas here. I think I've had a garland around the outside door every year. Um, same with fall this year. I didn't do it. I just kept it simple, but yeah, so I got two of these, okay, to go up the stairs and I will be using the sequence bows and mixing them in with, you know, this decor. I have a lot of things to add to, uh, you know, the garland. I've got a lot of stuff here, guys. I'm trying to make room. Another damn mug. I don't think I'm keeping it, but it's so freaking cute. Official cookie tester. I figured I'd give this to I Spy. You know, he loves his tea and coffee, and, you know, he's not baking any cookies, so he would be the cookie tester. It's too cute. I'm keeping it. I just loved it, and this was $5. So you see how... um. $3.99, okay, a dollar more, but you know, this is still cute. So I think I'm going to give this to I Spy. I just thought it was too cute. And the 
the candy canes, the wreaths, the gingies, if you see, it's kind of like almost 3D, like a 3D puffy sticker, and I love the candy cane handle. I don't need no more damn mugs, y'all. Then you know I bought the mugs from Ollie's, the gingerbread. I don't need no mugs. Now, from the Target dollar spot this year, they had, I believe, okay, I see where I'm missing. They had some $1 ornaments. So these will be mixed in my garland. Look at the gingerbread houses. Now these are fabric and they're puffy, but this is going to be mixed into my garland. I got several of the uh, gingy houses, a couple of the gingy houses. I forgot how many. I got several of the bows. I love the bows. And these are just like a soft velvet feel. I love it. Okay. $1 each. They had these candy canes. Again, these are fabric, but I love them and these candy canes okay so that's all going into the garland that i'm going to be making and i most likely will be mixing in these guys i got a couple of these uh these are fabric gingies as well one dollar they look so much better than the ones that they dropped last year the eyes are a little beady the eyes are a little beady but um yeah they're so cute they did such a better job one dollar each and I only seen these in one, one or two different um, Rocky Mount Target and Wilson Target. These never came to my Target and on the road at other Targets. They still had those old, ugly ones. And I have them. I have the old, ugly ones. They're going to be donated this year. I was in love when I seen this candy cane jar. Now, last year, um, they ha I have it. I have it in storage. I'm not putting it out because I'm trying to downsize. I, I have so much stuff. I can't put out everything. Um, how cute is this container? $5. It does have a seal. Now, I see people... My Target receipt's in here. <laughs> I see people put food directly in these containers. I'm just, you know, I don't play when it comes to my food. I would put a Ziploc bag, then put it in here. I don't know. Even though you can wash it, I know these are food safe, um, food safe, hand wash only, not microwave safe, uh, not to be used with liquid. Okay, I know it's food safe, but it's just something that skeeves me out about that. But do what you do. So here it is. And I like this one because it's a smaller size. So what would you put in this, Erica? I don't know. You know, because it's not that big. Oh, I did see people. I did see. Well, they didn't use this per se, but I was in Marshalls. And I'm going to put a picture on the screen. I've seen several flower arrangements with a pepper, uh, peppermint uh, vase, half vase like this. Um, I was thinking that, so I wouldn't use this. Um... But yeah, it's going to go definitely in my kitchen, on my counter. And one of you said, I've seen them too. I have them in my Walmart shopping cart. They have like these mini gingerbread marshmallows or um, hot cocoa toppers. But something like that, I would want in a clear container where you could see it. So don't ask me what I'm going to do with this, y'all. It was just too cute and I got it. Okay, it's just, let's just be real. Then I got this, but I'm not keeping this, guys, because there's nothing wrong. I thought this was better than the one that they gave last year. It's not. Uh, Target dropped a $5. Are they calling this a cookie jar? They're just saying novelty ceramic uh, container. It's food safe. Same instructions as this. But last year, they're calling it a cookie jar. But the design on the last year's ones was better. But I just thought this was cute. So I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Again, I said I have enough ceramic in my life. I know. This was also $5. But I didn't want to take the chance and not get it because these things go and I haven't seen these since so I didn't want to not get it I got two gingerbread house pillows now the ones Walmart dropped are better but I have not been able to find them yet and they're $6.98 these were five so I got two of the faux Sherpa gingerbread house pillows I think these are cute and I am kicking myself y'all so I went one day and they had the gingerbread girl pillow. I had it in my hands. But and me and a lady were talking. She was like, well, where's the boy? So we both walked away because we wanted the set. I go the next day, they have the boy, not the girl. I haven't seen the girl since. I'm so hurt. But I did get two of them. And, you know, the pink bow was not staying. Okay, I'm not, I'm traditional red, white, and green. So he's going to have a Christmas red, white, and green or something a bow tie. Here he is. A little scary looking, but for the girl, I can make a girl and put a bow up here. Um, remove the bow tie and put a bow up here for the girl. But the girl 
the way they have it. She has like a dress. I got to find the girl. This was $5, okay? And I did not need him because I had the five below gingy pillow that looked kind of scary. Looked like E.T. that they came out with last year. And then I have a gingerbread pillow on my couch. One of you bought me a gingerbread pillow. Tracy, you and your husband gave me two gingerbread dolls. Do I need it? No, but I just wanted it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, guys. So I'm still hoping to find the girl. So I bought two boys. So when the girl comes, I can exchange it. Or if the girl never comes, I can make her a girl. But yeah, this was the $5 gingy pillow. Again, much better than what they gave us last year. M much better, Target. You're listening. Okay. We are leaving Target. And real quick, from Marshall's, I got these gingerbread nails for Christmas. And these were only $4.99. So you see, if you watch my Walmart shop with me, they have a whole display of Christmas nails. They have some from Kiss and they have some from another name brand nails. Impress, which I don't know if they're sister companies, but $7.99. I mean, I see these in Target. I see these in, um, not Target, because Target's going to be $7.99 too. I see these in Marshalls. I see these in TJ Maxx. Um, even Beals for around the $5 price point. Even Family um, Five Below has some. So, I don't know if I pay $8. But, these are cute. So, I got those gingerbread nails. Also, I'm trying something new this year for my hot cocoa bar. Normally, I get the packets. Well, last year, I, of course, take the packets out the box when I set up my hot cocoa bar. So I didn't have a box. The packets don't have the expiration date on them, which I don't know why they wouldn't. They, same with oatmeal. I understand the expiration date is in the box, but some people don't keep the boxes, you know? So I don't know if they're expired or not. They're going in the garbage because I, I don't know. And I don't know if they're left from the year before. I don't know. So this is from Silly Cow Farms. It's, uh, and this is flavored. They have, they had different ones. This is chocolate peppermint twist. It comes in a jar. I'm going to sit it in my hot cocoa, um, container stand or, you know, you'll see when I set up my hot cocoa bar, I'll share that when I do some of the kitchen DIYs. Um, it will sit right in there. It can stay in the container. The expiration date is here. The instructions is place two heaping teaspoons of hot chocolate into your favorite mug. Slowly stir with very hot milk, top with whipped cream, and dust with hot chocolate. I guess you can dust it with some of this. I like my hot chocolate loaded, and you'll see some of the things that I use. Whipped cream is a must. I like putting crushed peppermint in mine, but since this is peppermint flavored, I might not have to. But they had other flavors, and if I like it, I'm going to go back and try other varieties. So I'm going to try it. Before I buy more, of course. So this was $5. They sell it at Home Goods too. I'm sure TJ Maxx has it. And um, yeah. So if you're making a hot cocoa gift, you can toss this in that as well. Um, when I went to Home Goods that day, it was so crazy when it, the grand opening, guys. I need to shop and I don't like people on top of me. Um, and yesterday, I don't know why I decided to go hopping and shopping on a Sunday when everybody is off and doing their shopping. I, I, I ended it early. I was, you know, usually I go a little bit harder, but I just was like, take your butt home. Okay. So I got these gingerbread marshals and this is white chocolate dipped naturally flavored gingerbread men. I'm a white chocolate lover. And this was $3.99. So I got this from my hot cocoa bar white chocolate dipped marshmallow mug hug hugger so this hangs off the side of your mug the white chocolate the crushed peppermint the marshmallows again this was $3.99 when I make my hot cocoa I go hard on my hot cocoa okay so I need all of the embellishments and the decor now the family dollar video they did have Amos um Marshmallow toppers, they were very cute for $1.25. And I wonder, I did buy some from Family Dollar last year. I don't know if Amos was the brand. My only issue with Amos is I'm not a fan of everything they make. I recently bought the Sour Snowflakes from Dollar Tree. I, I hold it. They were nasty, y'all. So I don't, you know, yes, it's $1.25, but it's not going to, if it's not going to be enjoyable, then why bother? I'd rather pay the extra money and get something that I know this is going to be good. So I have a couple of marshmallow toppers um, from Walmart in my shopping cart 
and uh, most likely I'm going to get them. They're three ninety eight each. Most likely I will get them. Like I said, your girl is a bargain diva, but when it comes to food, as you can see, your girl loves to eat. I I will pay the extra money. I want to enjoy whatever I'm consuming, whether it's a beverage, whether it's a meal. I want to enjoy it. So that was the only thing I went with from Marshalls. I did go back to Burlington. So you guys know, I found these beautiful bows for $3.99. They only had two sequence bows left. This also is going to be incorporated in my garland that goes up my stairway, okay? So I only got two. Well, I went back to Burlington just hoping, and when I've been on the road, I've stopped. The bows are gone. People went crazy um, and bought them up. I bought the last red velvet one because I figured, okay, I'll do a sequence, then this plain velvet, then another sequence. You know, like mix them up. Well, I'm noticing today this is damaged. This is why it was left there. So this has to go back to Burlington. Yes, could I probably fix it up? Probably. But um, I don't think I should have to. But could I fix it up? I, I could fix it up, y'all. Yeah, I could fix it up. So maybe it's going back to Burlington. Just put a little hot glue, hold it in place. Maybe. Because these are gone. I mean, if I go back to Burlington and they have more, I will exchange it. I'll probably get another one if they only have one. Because I want it four to mix in. That's that. <clears throat> Let's go to Hobby Lobby. And I have to go back to Hobby Lobby. But I go back to work today. My three nights is over. But I will, um, I'm off for three nights after tonight. So I'll make it back to Hobby Lobby. But let me show you what I got. I didn't even remember the stuff that I got. Like I said, I, I bought a little bit too much. These baggies are the baggies that I told you I got from, um, that I get the two and a half gallon food bags. I use this for craft storage, guys. And this is helping me somewhat stay organized for craftness. All right. So consider that if you, you know, and I said, you could use these to separate your ornaments, your glitter ornaments in one, or if you want to separate by color, your red balls in one bag, your green balls in one bag, your white, whatever you have. These things are massive. Yes, they're for food, but I'm using them for other things. So for embellishments for some of the craftsmen's DIYs, I may need these. So I did pick up this from Hobby Lobby, $2.99, 50% off guys what 149 so I did get those and I have been seeing in my travels gingerbread um snow globes or whatever ten dollars I don't want to pay that y'all I don't I'm gingy gingy on a budget okay look at this little cute guy so I did get him perfect for a tear tray that's where he's going 499 50 percent off 250 okay easy to store smaller and that was good enough for me now, Dollar Tree usually has wood signs. I thought they have a wood word sign that says Merry Christmas. And maybe at one point they did. Maybe at your stores. I couldn't find one. So I got this from the craft section. It says Merry Christmas. It was $2.49, 50% off. I need this for one of my Craftmas DIYs. Something else that I'll be using for a Craftmas DIY are these little cookie cutters. They're calling these buttons. I don't see how you could sew this on any fabric. To me, this looks like mini cookie cutter. So I will be using this for a Christmas DIY. Something I will be using to embellish my gingy houses. Um, I think this is so cute. And Dollar Tree gave us these like gem bow stickers and they gave us gem candy canes. I will show you. Um, and why not just go all the way and get gem wreaths? stickers this is going to be great for the gingy houses guys that i'm going to be making so i'm really excited about these and you know who doesn't like a little bling so i got those and these were 2.99 50 percent off and you're getting two four six eight okay most likely these are going to be going on the gingerbread uh tree collar houses that i'm going to be making okay i don't remember getting these but apparently i did these are two peppermint picks so my tree is pretty much full i have you know i want to add some red balls to it and uh yeah red and white balls to it not too much um i don't know if this is going on my tree these may these may not so i did get them and these were come on price 2.99 50 off now 
a lot of us holds were able to find the glass and wood top um, drawers. This is from the nautical collection that Dollar Tree dropped. Remember, it had a wood top and a blue straw. I added a glass straw, okay? Affordable Christmas gifts, if you were able to get, I got quite a few of these. So, Hobby Lobby has uh, cold transfers, okay? You don't need a Cricut. You don't need a cutting machine. If you see people make these glasses and you want to make them too, but you don't have a Cricut, this was $3.99, 50% off. So, basically, what, $1.99? 198 I'm not sure these are gingerbread and it's pink okay cold transfers that you can put on these glasses as you can see they show you okay put and gift them guys gift them if you sell them if you're participating in a craft fair make you'll make money you will make your money's worth this was a dollar 25 the glass drawers I got cheap from Amazon and um, if you don't have glass straws, Hobby Lobby sells clear plastic replacement straws for $1.99. And I think you're getting, um, I don't know if you get six or whatever. So you don't have to use glass straws, but that just elevates it in my opinion. And you could fill this with some pink shred and some lippies, lip balms or whatever gift. And then I also got this one. Fa la 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 <laughs> la 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 la. Okay. So these two, okay, I only got one of each, and I got some Gorilla Glue Sticks. I just think they're better, you know, I just think they're better. They're expensive, as you see, I bought the cheapest one. This is a pack of 10, okay? I probably will get more. So I went back to five below. When I went back to five below, I got these earrings that I told you guys about that I absolutely love, okay? I got the Pink Bow Cup. I'm waiting for my Target or any Target to drop the holiday straw covers. There are holiday straw covers out there. They're going to be $1 each and they have the pink bow. That would be so cute with this. But look at this. This was $5. This is going to be for me. I'm not gifting it. That's my receipt in there. I try to keep up with all my receipts. And guys, I told you I wanted the pink tree. And I was able to find it relatively quickly. I think two days after I posted this five below shop with me, I found the pink Christmas tree. It is so freaking full and cute. Where are you putting the pink Christmas tree, Erica? I don't know. I think this is the first year they gave us the pink tree. I don't know where I'm putting it, y'all. I could, if I don't put it up, I could save it and use it for a Valentine's Day gingy swag. Last year, I made a gingy swag for my door, and I used the Dollar Tree pink Christmas trees. Okay, you can use Dollar Tree Christmas trees to make swags and centerpieces, if you did not know that. If you've been rocking with me, you do. Here is my dining room centerpiece that I made last year using two Dollar Tree um, Christmas trees. This was a part of Vlogmas last year. I absolutely love it. And this is two Dollar Tree Christmas trees, a Dollar Tree wood block sign as the base. I absolutely love the centerpiece, guys. I absolutely love it. I got to get a candle for that. But I made this last year and I shared it in a video. Them for centerpieces like I did and um, create beautiful decor. Let me show you a Christmas swag that I did last year. Okay, so this is two of... Is it two? Yes, two of the Dollar Tree Dollar Twenty Five Christmas trees, and I made a swag. I had this on my front door last year. I don't know if I'm going to use it again this year. I did get it out of storage. I may give it to my sister uh, to use. She should be at her house December nineteenth um, if she wants to put something up on her door. But um, I don't know if she'll care because they're going to be, you know, like I said, they're supposed to be in the house December nineteenth. It got pushed back, but yeah, two Dollar Tree. Uh, 125 green Christmas trees and I was thinking of if I use it again expanding it adding two more trees making it longer okay so these Christmas trees can be used for more than just a Christmas tree okay um so if I uh, if I don't have time to put up the pink tree because I was going to put it in my glam area upstairs I just have it I just have it and I could make a giant um gingerbread 
Valentine's Day swag. I did get a green one because that is my plan. I will be making a giant candy cane gingerbread themed swag. So, you know, that will be a part of the Craftmas video. So, I was not happy with the wreath I made last year. I wasn't, but I just dealt with it. So, I am making a huge swag and the $5 trees, okay? My wreath divas on TikTok put me on to this. These make giant swags and they make bank selling them, okay? I'm not, I tried that last year. I have no desire. I did sell every one that I made almost and then i gave some to uh, a neighbor i'm going to give one to another neighbor i i i rather make for myself okay i don't want the business part of it it takes away the fun for me um and I'm also i'm just too busy doing other things so you really have to be dedicated and stuff like that and i'm i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but i'm going to make a giant gingerbread candy cane thing swag for my outside door where you see i do the videos for the back door so stay tuned for that. That will be on Craftmas. Also, Five Below came out with these really cute, it's not make it blocks like Dollar Tree, but it's their version. They're calling Block Tech. And you DIY your own gingerbread ornament. These were $1 each, so I bought two of them. Will you do them, America? Hopefully. They had other ones, guys. They had a reindeer. I believe they had a Santa. I believe they had a snowman. I'll, I'll put them on the screen because I... I'm not going to lie. I can't remember. But they did have other ones for just $1. Cute stocking stuffers. For myself, I did get the black and red bow slippers. They did have some in like a light pink with the red bow, but I went with black. Okay. These seem like they're going to be very comfortable. Here's the back of them. These were $5. I believe 5 they don't say five. Yeah, five. Because you know, some things are five, some things are five fifty-five, some things are three, two. Multi pricing, just like Dollar Tree has become, but these are so cute. So I did get those. And I did get this gingerbread throw. Now, when I went to Family Dollar, if you watched that video, they had a gingerbread throw with red, and I kind of wish I would have the red. So, guys, I don't know. It's cute though. It really is cute. It has the gingerbread, the gingerbread house, the lollipops um candy cane snowflakes and it's nice i think i may keep it it feels nice and soft this is the typical 50 by 60 inches and like guys that was everything i will be doing dollar general separately i got tons of stuff from dollar general like i said i see now especially now that i have went through my storage and uh, it's going to be so great having the storage so close it feels like it's 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 literally less than five minutes away it almost feels like it's here. You know, I could run there. And, you know, now that I have went through things, I see how much stuff that I have. I really didn't need to buy anything. Um, of course, to do, you know, make the DIYs. But as far as decor, I really did not need anything else. But um, Dollar General will be separate. That video will be coming up. And for those of you who won the giveaways, let me see if I can show you. Had some packaging issues. I got stuff everywhere, y'all. I ordered. Hold on. Sorry. I ordered what I thought would be nice size pink bubble mailers from Amazon. Well, look how tiny they are. They don't even fit two of the Touchland hand sanitizers. Okay, so I found some at Walmart. It's a 10 pack. This has just two sanitizers in it. So your packages are going out today. Okay. So sorry for the delay. I was waiting for these because Dollar Tree, you're only getting one for 125. And you know, I was trying to not gonna lie, save money because I still have to pay for shipping. And this was supposed to be six inches by nine inches. There's no damn way because here it is folded. Okay. I got catfished, okay, and I got 50 of them. I'm really on the fence. Do you want to send them back or keep them? I do. They're cute, but I don't can't see me sending anybody this anything this small. I'm sorry. Okay, if I was going to send you some lip glosses, okay, yeah, but to be honest with you, 50 of these, they're just going to be sitting. I, I never sent... And when you look how tiny that is, they have to go back. They have to go. I don't care if they're pink. They have to go back. They they lied to me and saying that this was six inches by nine inches. This is six by nine. Okay. So you see the size difference, right? 
So I found these at Walmart. This will fit the Zoid cutters. This will fit the Touchland dupe hand sanitizers. And I'm just going to go to Dollar Tree and get larger ones for the glam winners. Okay, so your packages are going out today. Sorry for the delay. I was waiting for these and I got catfish. And guys, I forgot to share with you something else that I hauled from Ross when I was putting things away. This is my gingerbread nutcracker set. This was only $11.99. I shared with you guys that last year I started collecting gingerbread nutcrackers and I have quite a few. So once I'm finished decorating, I will share all of those with you. But I forgot to include this in the haul. How cute are those for $11.99? But anyway, thanks for rocking with you, girl. The Dollar General haul is coming up. I have Dollar Tree haul for you. Also, a Dollar Tree shot with me for you. So stay tuned, guys. And plus, Craftmas, okay? I, I have a lot to do. But thanks for rocking with your girl. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And if you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you join my cyber family. For those of you who are already rocking with me and continue to come back and watch me and my madness, I appreciate you. Thanks for rocking with your girl. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.